Local storage, session storage, and cookies. What exactly is the difference? Your browser has a couple of storage methods which allows different websites to store data on your browser. And three of the most common storage methods are local storage, session storage, and cookies. But how are these storage methods different and which one should you use? I'll be simplifying all of that in this video. First off, let's look at a summary of the differences. For data stored on local storage, they never expire. For data stored on session storage, they would expire when the session is closed. And for data stored on cookies, they are expired based on an expiry date. For data stored on local storage, they are available per origin. For session storage, they are available per origin per session. And for cookies, they are available per origin or per parts. We'll look at what that means later in this video. Now, for data stored on local storage, they are not automatically sent with your network requests. Same thing for session storage. But for cookies, they are automatically sent to a server with your network request. The local storage also has a maximum size of 10 megabytes per origin for session storage is 5 megabytes per origin and these sizes can be extended on some browsers and for some other browsers it might be more than 10 megabytes or less than 10 megabytes or 5 megabytes and as for cookies you can store data of 4 kilobytes per cookie local storage and session storage are only available on less older browsers that use html5 while cookies are available on more older browsers that use html4 now for this video i'll be focusing on the first three differences and i'll be using examples if you go to any website, you can actually see the data that is stored in your local session storage and cookies. Here I have google.com and I can open my dev tools. In my dev tools, I go to application and here I can see the local storage, session storage and cookies. For local storage, this is everything that google.com has stored on my browser. For session storage, this is the data. It comes in key value pairs for cookies these are the cookies that google.com has stored on my browser we're going to be using this simple example i have here so i have this one which is slash index.html and i have this one which is slash sub slash index.html now all these storage apis are available for you to use via javascript so here i can say local storage dot set item and set item takes a key and a value so let's say i want to store item with a key of name a value of decode by the way this value has to be a string you cannot pass an object or an array here now once i press enter for this if i go back to application you can see on my local storage i have name and i have value of decode and you can see this is the origin this data will only be available per origin which means i can only see this data on this origin so if i should come here you can see the origin of this url is this so you see i can see the same value but if you go to google.com and you check the local storage here you're not going to see name decode because this is a different origin now another thing i said was expiry by storing data in local storage that data would never expire it will forever be there unless you explicitly delete it and how can you delete it well i as a user of this browser i can come here right click and delete or i can also delete it from javascript by saying local storage dot remove item pass a key and when i pass it it will be removed from this origin if i go back to application this is empty if i go back to this sub directory you can see this is also empty now as for session storage it has a similar syntax with local storage so here i can also say session storage dot set item name decode now if i come to application of course local storage is empty but if i open session storage here you can see i have name decode and this is still the origin oh by the way if i refresh my browser this would still be stored same thing for local storage if i had data here and i refresh that data would still persist in the storage now how is session storage different from local storage well with session storage the data expires when the session expires and what exactly is a session you can think of a session as a tab i have this tab here where i'm assessing the url so once i close this tab that session would be closed or if i close my browser that session will be closed which means that if i should take this url from here open a new tab and paste the url if i go to my dev tools you can see i cannot see name decode here anymore i can see it here because this is for this session if i come to this sub part i cannot see it here if i open a new tab here i cannot see it here it is only available per session and once i close this session which is by closing the tab that session has closed that data has been deleted so even if i come back here you can see that i cannot see that data again so with local storage your data is never deleted unless you manually delete it or 
use JavaScript, but with session storage, so let me just do session storage this. So if I come back to application, I have this here. I can choose to manually delete it as the user of this browser, or I can use JavaScript to say session storage, oops, session storage dot remove item and I can pass name. But the third way to be automatically deleted is when this session is closed and now let's go to cookies currently i have cookies empty here and i have cookies empty here and the syntax for creating cookies is slightly different to create a cookie you have document.cookie and then you pass a key value pair so i can pass name decode and if i come to the application now i have a cookie here and by default the path is the root so if i come here if i refresh you can see the path is this so this is still accessible but because i didn't specify an expiry date this would expire once I close my browser so how do I specify an expiry date well I can do document dot cookie have my key value pair then I can specify expires 25th of October 2025 I specify a time 0000000, 000, 000, 000, 000, 000 which is at midnight and let me use the UTC time zone and now once I do this if I go back to application here you can see the expires now has this date so once it gets to the expiry date, this cookie would expire. And again, this is still available here. If I refresh, you can see the expires here. But another thing you can do with cookies is that you can set a path for a cookie. Currently, this cookie is accessible on the root path, as you can see here and here. But if I come here, for example, I can come here and I can do document.cookie and let's set a key of language. And here I have JavaScript. Then I have my expires and then I can specify a path. And if I use a path like this of sub, it means that this cookie would only be available for this path. Now, if I press enter, if I go to application, first we have name decode, which is available on this path here. But then you also have this second cookie language JavaScript, which is only available on this path slash sub slash whatever. So if I should come back here and I refresh, you can see that we don't see the language cookie here because this is not slash sub slash stuff. But if I should come to the URL and do slash sub, slash index.html now I have the language but let me go back so this is what I mean when I say the data stored in cookies can be available per origin or per path but another thing with cookies is that your cookies will be sent along with your network request now let me come back to local storage do i have any data here let me quickly store something in local storage fruits cashew it's been a long time i ate cashew and if i come here now i have this in my local storage now when i'm sending a network request for example trying to access this part if we check the network tab when i refresh you can see index.html here if i open index.html if you come here you can see cookie and you can see this is sending a cookie of name decode so your cookie are sent with every network request that you send to an origin or a path and if you scroll here there is no point where you see fruit because data stored in local storage is not sent even the data stored in your session storage is not sent if I come here and I also go to network here and I refresh you see the index.html you can see that this is sending language JavaScript name decode it is sending these two cookie data I have because I am sending a request to slash so and this is not just for index.html for images also you can see the cookie sent here is just name and decode and the reason for that is because the image is coming from slash images and i only set that cookie for slash sub now coming to the question which one should you use well first off if you want to store large data in a user's browser you cannot really use cookies because cookies just allows four kilobytes per cookie so if you want to save one information all of these the name the value the path the expires all of these must not be more than four kilobytes this is currently 18 bytes so if we have like four thousand that is when it becomes four kilobytes so if you want to store large data, then you should consider using local storage or session storage. But if you'd love to store data that should be sent along with your network request, then in such cases, you can implement cookies on your website. And this is especially used in authentication sessions.
tools where you store some authentication tokens in the user's browser and in that case when they are making a request to your server you can retrieve the cookies from the request validate if the user is logged in and if they are logged in you can use that information for whatever you want to so i hope this video helps you to understand the differences between these storage methods and probably also gives you an idea of the different use cases of them if you enjoyed this video please give it a like share with others subscribe and turn on notifications for more simplified web development videos like this i can also check out other videos i have on my channel you should see some of them on the screen you can click any of them